Hey guys, JP here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Now, when I'm browsing the forums or when I get asked a question, I always get this question. Which is better, the Mammoth Cannon or the Tsunami? In today's video, I will answer that question. Now, last Sunday, I made this video already, but I wasn't really proud of my work. So I'm redoing it today and hopefully I'll upload it tomorrow for you guys. Now in front of me, I have the test truck, which I will do some testing on with the Tsunami and the Mammoth Cannon. Now first off, let's look at the stats of the Tsunami and the Mammoth Cannon. Now let's take a look at the Mammoth. The Mammoth has 1950 power score, damage is almost max, fire rate is pretty slow, range is above average, accuracy is average, max ammo, 10 pieces, durability 1167, which is the most health of any weapon in the game. In my opinion, the Mandrick should have a lot more health as well, but we're not talking about that right now. Energy drain 6 points and mass is 2,633 kilograms. I think that is... Uh, the Mandrick is heavier. Wow, it's it's heavier than a Mandrick. Whoa, okay. Well, this is then the heaviest weapon in the game as well. Um, and its perk, a direct hit increases the weapon's damage by 20% for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times resets when you miss. Which is actually the, the saving point of the mammoth. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's check out the Tsunami. Now let's take a look at the Tsunami. The Tsunami has 1950 par score. Damage is a bit less than the mammoth. Fire rate is also a bit slower than the mammoth. Range is very high. Accuracy is very high. You also get 10 points of 10 pieces of ammo just like the mammoth. Durability is 7 746 is almost um the mammoth has almost twice more health energy drain six energy points just like the mammoth mass limit or the mass is 1850 kilograms and it's perched for every five seconds of staying still increases the damage by 20 percent stacks up to three times unfortunately the Perk is not as great as the Mammoths unless you snipe. Now, if you look at most matches of Crossout, this perk isn't really effective unless you stay in the back and snipe and stand still for like 15 seconds to get a bunch of damage. So if we look at the stats of both weapons, the Mammoth should be a lot stronger than the Tsunami. But if we go into the test area, check this out. Okay, so now we're going to test the base damage of the Mammoth uh, with no perk and with the perk at max. So it does 170 damage without the perk. Let's get this perk up to three times. And with the perk, it does 272 damage. Now with the tsunami, the tsunami does 212 damage off the bat with no perk. Now let's get it up to 3 times boost. So now we have 3 times boost, see what happens. 339. So the Tsunami does way more damage. Looking at their stats, I think they should be the other way around. The Mammoth should have less damage and the Tsunami should have more damage. Now let's look at the pros and the cons of each weapon. For the Tsunami, it is much easier to snipe at longer ranges because it has a high velocity shell. The Tsunami is easier to conceal on certain builds. For example, you can easily mount it under your build or box it in with some other armor pieces. Look at this. Now you got an underslung Tsunami, which you can't do with the Mammoth. The Tsunami is a bit lighter and it does more damage as you can see. Now those are the benefits that come on top of my head. I'm pretty sure if you guys have more, leave them down in the comment section down below. Now the cons of this thing. Now, right off the bat, the biggest flaw you can see, it has a limited fire angle. Extremely limited. It also has a lot less health than the Mammoth. And I think the worst thing of it all is the perk. You have to wait 5 seconds, or actually 15 seconds. You have to stand still 15 seconds to get the maximum benefit of this perk which is not something people look forward to doing every time they fire now let's take a look at the mammoths the pros of the mammoth now the first good thing about the mammoth is it has a fully rotatable turret which means if people drive around you if you have um situations where you need to move forward and backwards out of cover it is easy to do with a fully rotatable turret the second good thing about the mammoth is it has a shit ton of health it's not easy to take this bad boy down. 
unless you're using you no know, shotguns and stuff. Now the best thing of this weapon is its perk. A direct hit will increase your damage by 20% for 10 seconds. Now in most combat situations, this comes in really handy. Um, compared to the tsunami perk, this one is a lot more useful and it hits really hard when it's stacked up to three times and because you know usually you're kind of close range with the mammoth sometimes long range but when you're close range if you're getting attacked or rushed or ambushed the perk will really help you out taking out your target so those were the mammoth pros on top of my head if you have more leave them down in the comment section down below now for the cons even though this thing has a fully rotatable turret it is pretty slow, and if a vehicle or enemy vehicle is fast enough, he can outturn you, which is kind of a problem. In those situations, you kind of have to move your vehicle around as well. Another con, this thing is extremely heavy, so you gotta give up some armor or have a very powerful cabin that can carry two of these things. If you are carrying one, you know, it doesn't really matter, but two of these, you gotta have a powerful cabin. Now, the biggest problem with the Mammoth is its high silhouette. It is a very big target to hit. If people are snapping across the map with tsunamis or maybe scorpions, this thing can get taken out really easy. So that is uh, that is kind of an issue. Now those are the only cons I really have with this weapon. Again, if you have more, leave them in the description down below. Now I got one more test. I want to see the explosion radius of this thing. Huh, to get all out, huh? Looks like the mammoth can take out a lot. Okay, so the tsunami took a lot less, or a few pieces less off. Let's check the side. Almost the same. The mammoth has a little bit more explosion radius. A little bit more. Now looking at all these tests, the Tsunami looks stronger than the Mammoth. But from my experience in the matches that I've played, the Mammoth feels a lot more stronger than the Tsunami. Maybe it's because I had the wrong build, because if you have the wrong build with the Tsunamis, you're not going to be as effective as you could. As for the Mammoths, you can just have a super heavy big build and you'll be good to go. For the tsunamis, I recommend the meat grinders as wheels or the spider legs. For the mammoth, tracks work. A simple track build is good, but Bigfoots are also good, or meat grinders as well. But I'm not a big fan of the meat grinders because they're kind of heavy. They move you around kind of slow. All right, guys, so now that you have seen the tests, I'm going to do some gameplay. I'm going to do some gameplay with Don Mammoth. This mammoth build right here. Oop, I don't have the color. Let's give it a nice camo color. And I think I missed, I'm missing a few parts. Uh, nope, nothing special. So I'm gonna be using this build, this dual mammoth build. It looks extremely heavy. Let's see how much it weighs. Almost max, Jesus. So we're gonna be using this and we are gonna be using this tsunami build. Um, this build is pretty popular right now. It does have a cap can summer, I think, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna replace it with something else. Uh, let's see what it got. Yeah, I don't have the cap can, so I'm probably gonna add maybe a radar or something. I don't know. But we're gonna be using these builds. Now, the tsunami build is from Kurisu 79911, and the Dun Mammoth build, or the dual mammoth bit build, is from Don Carleone. All right, guys, so without any further ado, let's have some fun. All right, guys, welcome to Nameless Tower. We are going for Alpha real quick. Let the match develop a bit. Get maybe some cap points in. And then we'll head for Bravo, the dome. Let's see, let's see. We got US. Nope, we are on US server. I am lagging a bit. Maybe that'll stop in a few seconds. Let's see, um, nobody I know. Only Guts. Well, I don't know him, but... Oh, we got someone, we got a sniper. Oop, a bit high. Let's angle a bit so he hits our track. We got incoming, left side. Oh, good hit. 
Uh, we gotta watch out for that guy on our right, actually. I'm gonna move up. Skip this guy on the the right side. This guy has machine gun. Ah, uh, a good hit though. We got his gun. Let's get his gas. There we go. Let's move up for bro. Oh, they're about to win. Holy shit! Move up, move up, move up. Contest the point. There's only one guy on point. All right, we're good now. Ooh, thousand damage. That's nice. Let's get his cannons. What is this thing? They're done. They're done. Freaking mammoths built are awesome, man. Okay, we got one guy on the the cap on our side. This thing is a bit heavy, but it's freaking amazing, man. It's a beast. Let's see if we can snipe him off the point. No eyes. Oh, he's on the point. Oh, shotgun build giving you trouble. I got him. <laughs> All right, first match was good. Didn't do too much, but I got three kills. All right, guys, welcome to the fortress. Looks like we got the same guys on last match. We are going to go on the point. Maybe wait around here a bit. Yeah, this is good. Let's see if we can get this guy's guns. Uh, he still has both guns left. Oh, I forgot we had to move in this build. Good hit. He still has guns left. Good hit. Everybody's pushing. Let's push up. Shit, some bunch of people up here. Thousand damage, nice. Oh, sniper, let's get him. That's what I mean about sniping, 1500 damage. If you know how the velocity worked with this thing, you can easily... Okay, he moved. <laughs> Doesn't count. But you can easily snipe with this thing as well. Looks like we are winning. Hold up, yep. We're gonna turn around. And we are gonna go for this guy. Looks like a bot. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of damage. Alright, pushing up. Let's wait for our reticle to shrink a bit. Wait. That's one wheel gun, I think. Good hit. Hmm. Hard to tell what's going on. I need to get some distance. Because this thing will strip the heck out of me. Good hit. Both guns gone. Let's finish him off. Oh, it's a player. I thought it was a bot. Alright, good hit. We got two more players. Long range shots, let's see if we can get him. No hits. One more guy over here. They're actually kicking our ass. But I'll save the day, don't worry. Fucking mammoths are beasts. Oh, bad hit, let's cloak up. Let's surprise this guy. Oh, what? We <laughs> freaking missed. Yeah, dude. Oh, Traverse is horrible. Oh my god, this thing's too slow. Traverse is horrible with glide tracks and uh, hardened tracks. Data complex. Yeah, dude, we got this. He's gonna try and cap, but I think he can make it in time. Kind of a boring gameplay, but yeah, this thing's just... It's just a uh, bunker, basically. It's extremely powerful, heavy, but it's got tons of armor. Let's finish this guy off. He's probably hiding in this corner right here. That's what I would do. Yep, here he is. Not going anywhere, buddy. There we go. GG. 
All right, we've got MVP and we got three kills. Easily, easily. Let's switch builds. All right, guys, we are at the factory. I switched builds. I switched to the Tsunami Spider. I did have to modify it a bit, but not much. I think I have one ammo box less and I have a radar detector instead of a normal radar and some decor stuff. But uh, let's see if we can shoot Joshua. Kind of a long shot. Almost, almost got him. I wasn't aiming for Joshua anyway. Good hit. 900, wow. Let's uh, go for the human player. Nice. Oh, a thousand. Jesus Christ. And there goes Joshua and Zanwar. Draco build. Good hit. He's dead. Let's um, go for these guys. Nice. Good hit. Jesus Christ. Did they buff the tsunami or something? Jesus. So far, I've been getting nothing but good hits. Nice. He's gone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. This is one of the easiest matches ever. Jeez, I, maybe this build is just as good. This guy was just using one tsunami and did good as well. So, one guy left. Yep. Rip. So, that was super easy. I didn't even get MVP. Wow. Almost. Hippo man with one tsunami. He did good as well. All right, guys. Looks like everybody's gonna fight at their spawn. We are at Rock City. Uh, we are facing mostly 8K builds. Yeah, still got him. I don't know what kind of laugh that was, but that was weird sounding. So, let's see if we can get Mad Max. I think we can. Uh, too high. Okay, let's uh let's push up a bit see if we can get a bit closer into the action yep there is Alyssa. actually let's get this guy whoop whoa sometimes the spider builds turn really fast damn oh there we go get this human player first Look up just so that he doesn't lock on to me. Wow. Come on, just 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 freaking die. Oh. Lol. I just want to get this guy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, for some reason my gun won't shoot. Oh man. Alright, two kills. That was kind of a strange match, but yeah. Alright guys, there you have it. Um, I played with both builds. I used both weapons or cannons. I used the Mammoth and the Tsunami. As you guys saw, the Mammoth was a bit more fluent. It was a bit, you know, the game experience was a lot better. A lot of damage, you had a ton of health. I know the builds are different. This was a leg build, less armor. Uh, space armor and the other one was just tanky um, but that's the way you can build with that thing it's just it's different uh, for me I like the mammoth more it's uh I would get that preferably instead of the tsunamis I started off with the tsunamis but I was kind of disappointed they are good I've seen people do wonders with them but they're not for me if you guys like them you can get them good on a spider build good on wheel augers or meat grinders but kind of tricky. You have to face the enemy to shoot. So that's the only big issue. And the perk kind of sucks. But yeah, it does more damage on paper. But, you know, you saw it for yourself. 
All right, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, social media links in the description down below. If you want to support me on Patreon, link in the description down below. Also, my Discord. Feel free to hop on, ask me any questions and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah.